Good morning guys from a very dark and chilly Shrewsbury railway station. It's uh, 6.20 in the a.m. and I've got up super early today to take this service which is the Avanti West Coast service down to London Euston, the only direct service from Shrewsbury to London and it's on one of their class 221 super voyages. Now I'm traveling in first class, don't know what to expect at the moment but that's the reason why I'm here isn't it? So uh, we'll go and check it out, see what you get for your money and I'll speak to you again on the train. Cheers for that. Yeah, I'll I tell you what, it was really cold this morning. I'd already walked a mile and a half to get here, but I don't mind that. I'll be sitting down anyway for the next two and a half hours. Now this train normally leaves Shrewsbury at 06.39 in the morning and gets into Euston at 09.12, which is a journey time of 2 hours and 33 minutes. It's a five car class 221 Super Voyager um, at this point anyway. And you'll see here we have one first class carriage at the front and then there's standard class behind that, uh, including the shop. Uh, we'll be having a look at that area a little bit later on. So I went straight into the first class area, which was laid out in the 21 configuration you would expect. And the first impressions were cozy, uh, which is probably what you want on a dark morning like this. About half the seats were available and I chose a rear facing double on the left hand side. A dedicated first class host was in attendance and they immediately asked if I would like a tea, coffee and some juice. Uh, this was served promptly in a proper cup and glass too. I have to say this made a great first impression, even though I was the only person in the carriage at this point. I was then asked what I would like for breakfast and to my delight there was a full breakfast option on offer or salmon and eggs I think. Uh, now, I could have chose either, but I went for the full breakfast, uh, which, as you can see, was fulsome and tasty. The only thing missing was an egg, uh, I think, but to be honest, uh, this was much more than I was expecting anyway. And, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And isn't it nice to get proper stainless steel cutlery as well? Oh, I'd easily finished breakfast by the time we arrived at Wolverhampton. At this point, there were only three of us in first class. Uh, a few more got on here, and it was time for a second cup of tea. Now it's at Wolverhampton where our five car unit couples behind another five car unit to take us all the way down to Euston. Now this effectively doubles the capacity of the train and both units have similar facilities. And first class though remained sparsely populated throughout. So let's have a look at the seats here in first class and as you can see they're quite wide and they have these wraparound type of headrests which I think feel quite luxurious. All seats have tables, uh, though in the airline seats the aisle seats table is hinged uh, which I think is to allow easy access or egress. And the tables themselves are solid and spacious enough. And note the placemat here which was from my <laughs> earlier breakfast. A parrot is provided by means of conventional three pin socket only, so uh, remember to bring a plug. It's located near the floor on the sidewall. Now here's a better look at the seat where you can see the antimacassar in place. There's quite a gap between the seats and to be honest it was a bit awkward filming uh, because uh, as per usual uh, somebody had chosen to sit right behind me uh, in an otherwise fairly empty carriage believe it or not. Now, this always happens to me for some reason. Do, do you get the same yourselves? Uh, we have the seat recline levers here and a retractable wide armrest. Our leg room is as you would expect from the size of the tables plentiful so even the tallest shouldn't really have an issue with this. Now the seat padding is good and needs a little bit of a deep clean I think in some areas which are probably a bit more difficult to reach but overall I think cleanliness was generally acceptable. Now above the seats you have ample luggage space with integrated personal reading light, uh, digital reservation displays and general lighting uh, beneath which um, is a singular coat hook. Uh, there are pull down blinds at each window. Now on the window itself is a QR code for the onboard hub. Uh, which is a recent initiative by Avanti West Coast, uh, enabling all customers to order food, drinks from their seat. Now, I'm not sure how popular this is. Uh, have you tried it? Uh, I think personally it's a good idea. I thought I'd try out the Wi-Fi at this point. Uh, yeah, it was decent. And loading up social media images pretty quickly, I thought. Uh, it's certainly one of the better free onboard Wi-Fi services that I've encountered recently anyway.
Well, we left Birmingham New Street uh, with views over the construction site for the new HS2 station, Curzon Street, um, which uh, incidentally will be the first brand new intercity terminus station built in Britain since the 19th century apparently. Uh, Curzon Street is currently due to open in 2026. Oh, by the way guys, if you like what I'm doing and want to support the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a look at my Ko-fi page. You can get loads of exclusive stuff over there and yeah, any support would really help me out. Thanks very much. We are now arriving at Coventry. Please take care when leaving the train. We hope you've enjoyed your journey. Oh, well, I certainly was enjoying my journey so far. And here is Coventry, which looks like it's getting some building work of its own here, doesn't it? And if you know what's happening, please leave a comment in the usual way. Lots of people got off here. Uh, there was still lots of glare on the window, so, you know, I thought it was probably time to have a wander off to do the loo review. So, a uh, big accessible toilet here with the push button, open, close and lock functions. Uh, I don't know what that knocking noise was, by the way. It sounded like somebody was trying to get in, doesn't it? A yeah, baby change here. Well, I thought I might be in luck this morning, but no, nothing here to swap, unfortunately. Uh, below that um, and above the toilet is the push button flush. And there's a large mirror here to my right uh, with integrated soap, water and dryer functions. As you can see here, everything worked. Um, the super powerful water actually worked too much in a way because it managed to get a blob onto the camera lens at this point, which was slightly irritating, but it wouldn't last for too long. Now beneath the mirror are the assistance alarms and to the right of those is the litter bin and some double coat hooks on the wall. Uh, there is a retractable handle next to the toilet as you would expect and yeah pleased to say that this toilet uh, was generally very clean and it was well maintained. Top marks to Avanti West Coast here. Well uh, me and the blob of water uh, decided to have a walk through one of the quite busy I thought standard class carriages and you can see that it's in the expected 2-2 configuration. A bit brighter than first class I thought uh, but quite busy as well. Now, I spend most of my time in standard class on Avanti West Coast services and yet in my opinion they're perfectly comfortable for long journeys. And part of this carriage uh, you will see is taken up by the shop so let's go and have a look and see what that's like too. On these trains uh, the shop normally consists of a refrigerated section for sandwiches, cold drinks and alcohol uh, plus some shelving opposite the counter for snacks. And there's also a microwave or two and, and a hot drinks machine behind the counter. I didn't dwell too long, uh, I wanted to get back to my seat and order another free coffee to be honest. I'll tell you what, I was really glad to be in first because the shop announcer had previously informed the train uh, that they were open but uh, were only taking cash payments. I think there was something wrong with the card machine at that point. Uh, well I don't know about you but um, I hardly ever travel with cash anymore so it's a bit awkward isn't it? And maybe I should really for these kind of scenarios. Anyway, talking about money, if you want to take this train yourself, the best price I could find for an advanced first class single from Shrewsbury to London, direct, was £66.70. Now I used a load of delay repay vouchers to pay for my ticket, otherwise I'm not sure I'd pay that much for this journey ordinarily. And that's not to say it's bad value, At the cheapest price I could find for this exact service in standard class was £37.40, and there's plenty of services for half that price providing you're prepared to change trains on the way. So what do you think? Let me know. Uh, there's a link to another video I made on this subject, just up here. Well, it was brightening up a bit outside as we came into Rugby. The blob of water had gone, fortunately. So let's enjoy a bit of the scenery as we get closer to London, and I'll speak to you again when we get there.
Houston, that has uh, been the Avanti West Coast service all the way down from Shrewsbury in first class. And then, uh, yeah, what did you think? I thought it was pretty good. Now, I've been on three Avanti West Coast services in the last six months or so, and they've been consistently good, uh, which says to me it's a pretty good service, um, and I will continue using that service and the company. So, yeah, very pleased with this, and I'm going to head off now to. Um, my second destination of the day. Hope you can join me for that as well. In the meantime, guys, thanks very much for watching and cheers for now.